what up y'all and welcome back to another one yes this is uh the awesome awesome edited hunt by midwest flyaways coming at you i told you we had at least one to two more now it's sitting at 75 degrees out my goodness it's seven in the morning i uh, got up today and i'm like you know what today's the day uh we got to show you guys this second hunt that Midwest Flyways put together for us. This was back in December. Uh, and by the way, I'm complaining about the temperature because I'm ready for winter. I am just ready for winter. Uh, not, nothing more, nothing less, just ready for winter. I'm ready to have my hoodie on. I'm ready to uh, be putting my bibs on. I'm ready to get out here at four o'clock in the morning, run over there, make sure clients are woke up, getting ready. Come in here, Gerald, I can guarantee you, he'll be beating me to the punch getting ready every single morning. But check it out, I don't know if you guys have seen it lately. We got her going on in here, got her all set up. This is where we'll charge all of our mojos. Just like we got going on up here. Charging station, plus decoy storage underneath, A-frames, everything's organized. Looking good. Got a little chill area right here. Got the old flower chair though. Still looking beauty. Another pile of decoys going on. Uh huh. We're gonna have more decoys than you could shake a stick at. Uh, I told you guys we're getting a huge shipment from Dive Bomb. They're hooking it up massive this year. I mean, they're replacing everything. So, we got all of our floaters hung up. Got the kayak ready to go. But y'all have been asking for prep videos, preseason prep videos. All my stuff's done. My stuff's always ready to go. You know, I mean, I put it up uh, the end of the season and then I grab it the beginning of the season. My blind bag, it rarely ever changes. I mean, same stuff in there. Look, my gloves are still completely muddy. Woo! But after we get done watching, oh man, that said fragile on it. I'm sorry, buddy. We got two packages. After we get done uh, with the video here, we're gonna open two of your guys' packages that you all sent uh, to the old P.O. box. So, like I said, this hunt, uh, this was back last December. I had Joey, Connor, all the boys from Midwest Flyways come down. We hunted for three days. Now, y'all seen the first duck hunt. Epic, epic, epic. They make films and movies that, the way I wish I could, you know, a lot of times. Uh, I did have a, a, good, a good amount of feedback from you guys. Some of you were like, Bobby, these videos they remind me of the Guggen squad videos i love them and then some of you were like that was awesome but i still like your normal vlogs better just because uh the way i we kind of run the the hunts the same every time and where i'm explaining the hunts to you so neither here or there i appreciate your guys's feedback because what that does it tells me what you guys like to see and what you guys want to learn i have had a ton of goose and duck hunting questions uh in my instagram dms and in the comments Y'all are gearing up. I can tell I'm ready as well. So let's get into this video. Uh, this is a lesser hunt, a little cackler lesser hunt. Uh, really unique. You'll see it. We ended up sitting up uh, on the end of a very long round bell row. We put A-frames on the end. And then we put out all, I think we used roughly 60 dozen dive bomb decoys, silos mixed with socks, put them out in front of us. And me and Joey, we called our butt off. Call, Cal was calling too. There's a funny little bit that y'all see. Um, but stick around. After the video, we're gonna open these bad boys up. Enjoy this saucy footage. Hopefully it helps you guys get through a uh, little bit of time here. But before we get into this video, I want to tell you guys, we're going on our first goose hunting trip of the season here in 23 days, y'all in 23 days. Stay tuned. The visibility is going to be great for what we're doing, which is traffic. And we're going to bark at them. <laughs> Oh, 
one thing that's super nice, and one thing you notice is that as soon as we got here, everybody just started doing something. Everybody was moving, everybody was setting the spread, setting up the A-frame, whatever they know how to do, you just do it. We talked about it in our last podcast. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to listen to it. it definitely makes a difference. So take note when you're on the field. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm already tired. I'm pretty tired, man. My lips hurt. Doing good. We got one group down. How many, how many we shoot out of that? Six? Duck season's out right where we're sitting because there's two different zones. So like 100 yards that way, it's in. But we're but not here, for, baby. We're going for But not here. But so Joey, sucks. of course. It's yeah, naturally. Sit and call. Well, it's still fun. Yeah. It's still fun to see him. Yeah, get him a decoy, whatever. It's fine. Even though we're standing in the blind and we have yeah. no duck decoys. Yeah. Hey, every time he, every time he barked it, he would just well, of course, turn yeah. a little bit. They're like, what was that? Definitely take What's a look. on down there? So bad, dude. <laughs> dude, my mouth hurts. I can't call anymore. My cheeks hurt. But we're killing cacks. We we don't get these in Minnesota, so it's really fun. <laughs> yeah, big swings, big misses today, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He got sympathetic <laughs> real quick. Uh, we can't hurt him. Do it. Do it. What's his name? Richard. Ready? Ready? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Dude, he did. Right here. Wow. He's not even wow. moving, wow. man. There's a bird that landed in the decoys. We were working another group. They left. Sir, Look at this sir, dude sir, doesn't want to leave, man. I and mean, then we shot bird. at him. Come on, come here. Sir, where are you going? They got the bomb squad on him. Dude, he's hurt. Okay, that's a dead bird. Wow. 
<laughs> Those things are so tiny. I can barely do that with barely. my lips. <laughs> you guys shooting a hunt video? <laughs> yeah, hard. That's really yeah. hard. These things are sweet, man. Yeah, man. Little, little birds. birds. But little. they're doing it really nicely. Do you think we should pull some deeks out of that side and maybe put it in the middle? Yeah, we can. Make we can more sit. comfortable well, landing in yeah, the middle. Yeah, we can just take that glob and glob it here like a circle. Mm. Try to, you want to bunch them up a little bit? We noticed that they're all landing and decoying on this side. So we're going to move some decoys. So what we're trying to do is move these decoys out into this area, make a bigger, tighter pack in the middle and hopefully finish them a lot better. They're also flying over the top of us and probably busting us, which sucks. So we're trying to push it out a little bit further so that when they do try to swing over, it's more in front of us instead of over the top of us. Basically trying to get the birds closer to the better shooters at the other end. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is good movement. All these socks. The socks are so good, man. They are really moving. And it's not like a death wobble either, where it's like unrealistic. It's it looks so good, man. If you just kind of like get down oh, and yeah. look at them, it looks sweet. Like if yeah, if you look this way. Oh yeah. It's like, dum, 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 dum. Get Brad, get him, been banging on cacks. We didn't shoot a single lesser today, did we? It was all cacklers. There's a lot of cacklers in there, yeah. Well, Frederick did good. Huh, bud? Yeah, Fred didn't do too shab. Good boy, Fred. Oh, oh yeah, I'm a good boy. Okay. Why didn't you shoot your limit? Because I was not shooting well today. That's okay. <laughs> I shot three. <coughs> oh, no. The one on the ground, I wasn't thinking of that one, so I shot five or six. You slaughtered that guy. Well, <laughs> had it. Why didn't you let him fly? I, he wouldn't fly. I was waiting. I got sick of doing that. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of this bird having a life. Good hunt today. Fantastic. Jolly good fun. Jolly good. This is my first time actually shit. getting into cacklers. Yeah, that was same. cool. My lips hurt. Actually, the only other time I've shot cacks was when we were with Isaac. Oh, we only shot, we shot two, those two. Though. I know. But I've never like hunted cacklers. Yeah, I know what you mean. We're going to be grabbing some lunch, and then tonight we're doing a podcast with Bobby Guy Films. So definitely make sure to head over to uh, Midwest Flyways Uncensored on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. You can check it out there. It's going to be up very soon. But we have a lot more content coming out from this weekend, so definitely make sure you come back and check that out. Hit up midwestflyways.com slash shop if you want to rep the widge, get some uh, hats like Joey's got. Super warm, super comfy. Super warm, man. Bob's uploading videos, so he's tasked us with starting to fire, start to drink some beer, and then set up the panel blind over there. I'm setting up the legendary fire. I'm an original Matt Wallen. A regular, you mean? Oh god. Which one? Push. Hey guys. We had a fantastic day today. I uh, had a sweet lesser hunt, uh, good filming, uh, good time with the friends. We are now about to do a podcast with Bobby Guy. So definitely check out in the description. Make sure you check the link down there. Yeah, it was a blast. Lots of fun. What do you guys think about it? How was the day? I mean, Bobby didn't think it was going to turn out that good. They don't run traffic down here? They don't, yeah. Like when I told Preston last night, I was like, hey, so you guys run traffic? And he's like, what? <laughs> what about traffic? Where he is? thought I was talking about cars. And I was like, oh, no, dude, um, I'm talking about the hunt tomorrow. And he's like, traffic? He's like, is tomorrow a traffic field? Yeah. Oh, it's not a feed, huh? 
So it turned out good. We ended up shooting like 20 birds, had a really good time, and uh, tomorrow's going to be better. Tomorrow's going to be better. We have an estimated feed of around 8,000 birds. There's about 5,000 snows and anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 darks from large Canada geese to lessers to cacklers, and then there were some specks mixed in there too. It's gonna be and crazy. it's going to be a really weather frontish day tomorrow. It's going to be 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the north, and it's going to be blowing flurries of snow. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. So be sure to click that notification bell down below if you're not already subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe, and we will see you soon. So, uh, where the camera was placed during this video was down probably three or four guys to the right of Joey and I. And every now and then, you could hear Joey and I's calling down the left side. Joey, oh my god, he is a super goose caller. I mean, he is big time. Uh, he can double cluck, triple cluck, do all these crazy things that I wish I could do. Uh, when, when he came down here, he's like, Bobby, I want to do one thing. I'm tuning my calls to sound like cacklers and lessers. I just want to screech and screech and screech some more because he's from up north where they hunt honkers. So it's all, you know, moans, low clucks, not a lot of high pitched noises. And you really just can't go crazy like you can on lessers and cacklers. So Joey had a ball to say the least. But first package, uh, and that brings me to my next point. If you guys want to book a hunt here uh, at Sand Hill Flyways, uh, link is down in the description. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Gerald runs the whole Facebook uh, page. And you can get a hold of me on Instagram. Uh, DM me, hit Gerald up on Facebook, shoot him a message. Both, two ways to do it. For some reason you live in a hole and you don't have Instagram or Facebook and you have email, shoot me an email. My email address is down there as well. Um, one thing, a big question that I've been getting a lot is, Bobby, how much are your Sandhill crane hunts? I don't do sandhill cranes at all. We don't get sandhill cranes through here. You, ba you barely see them. The reason the lodge is named Sand Hill Flyway is because we're in the sand hills of central Kansas. That's where I live. So, just, just wanted to get that out there. What is this? Oh, no way. I didn't know that that's what this was. Check it out. I'll take this all day. I'll take it all day long look at that another antique decoy this is what brand is this d9 victor duck decoy d9 victor duck decoy 1967 is that right 1967 let's read this bobby family and fred by the way i'm missing fred bad I just wanted to say my family absolutely loves your YouTube channel, especially my two boys who are Willie and Dakota. They love Fred and watching him at the trainers. You're a huge inspiration to get into duck hunting again. We hope you enjoy this decoy. Hope we get to hunt with you at the lodge one day and many years of success in everything you do. Thank you, the Lark family. Thank you. I'll tell you. Now we have 22 antique decoys for decoration for the lodge if you guys want to send anything like i said before the p.o box is linked down in the description below just make sure if you send something uh it's appropriate legal and acceptable next package fragile i have an idea what this is Ooh, maybe i don't know what it is Ooh, ooh. More decoration for the lodge, I can tell you that. Yeah, that's it. What is this? What do we have here? Ooh, okay, I remember this. I remember you from Instagram. I just talked to you last night. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. A painting. Oh, that's so nice. Sandhill Flyway at the top. Got birds in the sky. Look at this, got me and Fred at the bottom. Ducks decoying. That will look very, very, very sharp. That will look very, very sharp in the lodge. Gosh, you guys are amazing, I'm telling you. This is uh, from Ellie. Or no, sorry, dude, sorry, Eli. My goodness. He's only 14. 
and uh, he says he loves the way that I preach gun safety. Man, I inspired him to make his own channel. Dude, Eli. He says, P.S. I like Fred's videos. He is a pretty cool dog and can't wait to see what happens this fall. I'll tell you what's going to happen this fall, Eli. I'll tell you. Old Frederick, he's going to be a machine. He is going to be a machine. There's going to be so many clients here, so many guns going off, so many birds falling. Frederick's going to be in heaven. Plain and simple. Eli, thank you, buddy. Thank you. He, he just actually DM'd me yesterday and said, Bobby, have you got my picture yet? And it's actually been in my truck for probably a week. And I just waited for the right video to open it, buddy. Thank you. Uh, again, if you guys want to send anything, the P.O. box is down in the description. Decorations for the lodge. Just like this. Decoy. Picture. Awesome stuff. Uh, the lodge is coming along great. I'll have some update videos to come. We have... A Fred training video to come, one that a lot of you uh, training your six-month-old dog, year, year old dog, you don't want to miss this one. And again, massive, massive, massive shout out to Midwest Flyways for providing this video. They filmed it, they edited it, and uh, they all turned out great. I think we might have one more. It's a little spec hunt. Uh, it won't be a, a long one, so... Uh, if it goes up, it'll go up probably in two days, just like this one did. Big, big season to come here. Uh, I've got a lot going on. I'm gonna, I, I am indefinitely a ton busier than I've ever been here on the channel. Um, running the lodge, maintaining clients, plus maintaining this YouTube channel, it's gonna be quite the challenge. But I'm up for it. I'm doing what I love. I, I encourage all you guys to get out there and try to find the one thing that you love the most and go do it and try to try to make it so you can go do it every single day you know what i mean um life gets a lot better in a hurry when uh for a you work for yourself and b uh you're just enjoying what you do on a daily basis i i i truly love you guys you guys are my family without you guys all this would not be happening so from the bottom of my heart like always thank you guys sincerely so much but subscribe if you haven't smash the thumbs up for this video if you liked it it was a sweet little hunt sweet little film they always put together the best hunting videos go subscribe to midwest flyways i will link their youtube channel down in the description below big shout out to joey and the boys they're actually coming back down uh this coming what february yep but until next time Peace.